guys, in this video we're going to make a penguin face cake and I'm going to use a fruit cake for this one. Now this video is one of a series of Christmas face cake videos that I've made, so you can find the other videos on my channel as well. So I'm starting with a dome shaped fruit cake. You can replace the fruit cake with a chocolate cake or Victoria sponge or whatever kind of cake you like. Now with it being a fruit cake, we're going to marzipan it so we're just filling in the holes so that they don't show. Now I'm going to put it on a smaller cake board and we're going to use marzipan. So if you're doing a sponge cake, you wouldn't have to cover it in marzipan. So I've rolled my marzipan reasonably thin, but I do like the taste of marzipan, so I'm happy to have a lot of marzipan on there. I'm just smoothing it over a little bit with my smoother. We're cutting off any extra from the edge. Give it another quick smooth. And we're going to cover it in white fondant. And I'll put links below the video to everything that I've used. So I'm going to try and go fairly thin with the fondant and then we're just going to put it over the top of our marzipan. If it doesn't stick, you can just use a little bit of water to stick it to the marzipan. And I've cut off any extra from around the edges. I'm just going to give it a light little smooth. You can use your smoother again if you prefer. Then we're going to use some black fondant. Now, if you're going to use black, then buy it pre-coloured. You don't really want to be dyeing your fondant or sugar paste uh, black because it always just turns grey. So we've cut out two circles from it. I've made sure it's big enough that it covers my dome. And the two circles are kind of my eye area. We're just gonna cut it off at the bottom just there. Um, we'll just press down the edges and then I'm gonna trim off anything extra from around the edge. Now I think I'm gonna use yellow for a beak. I think yellow or maybe orange. No, yellow, we'll do yellow. Do I do yellow? Yeah. Or maybe even black. Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> We're gonna go yellow. Okay, so I'm going to start with the ball, I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut the bottom half so it's even smaller, and that will fit up to the top bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in place where these are going to go. Now my water looks mucky, it's not, it's because this brush has been against the black fondant and the food colour comes out into my water then. Let's work out where I want my eyes to go, I think maybe about there, so it's kind of the middle of my circle area. So I'm just pressing in a little indentation with my balling tool, just rubbing over it lightly with my hands. Now I have washed my hands really well, those of you that are worried. Maybe just pull it out to the sides a little bit. So I was going to do round eyes, but I'm thinking maybe closed eyes, so I'm just changing the shape a little bit. And I'm going to mark where I want my closed eyes to go. So it's going to be like a curve on either side. So we'll start with two kind of pea-sized pieces of black and we're going to roll them out so they've got a point on either end and then we're just going to place them over that mark that I've made. So curving them kind of upwards and I'm just going to add a bit of pink edible dust to the cheeks. I've gone a little bit dark on one side, just rubbing over that with a cornflower and then I'm just wetting any black bits that have got cornflower on just to tidy them up. Then I've got some pink fondant that I've rolled into a long strip and I'm going to place this around the board. Now I've put a little bit of water on the board to help this stick and I'm going to cut off any extra from around the edge and I've made it meet at the bottom because my penguin's going to have a body so it's going to cover up that little gap that we've got there. So I'm just going to use some black fondant again. We'll just stretch it out a little bit. Cut a little curve into the top so it fits up against my face. It looks like it's got sideburns. <laughs> and then a little white bit for the middle. I'm trying to curve it so it kind of matches with the shape of the body a little bit cut anything off that goes below that black bit and let's give it some little flippers. Are they flippers? Wings. We'll give it its wings. So kind of a teardrop that's flattened a little bit and we'll just press those on either side. And I'm just going to have a look at what it looks like with some red around its neck. Do I give this one a scarf? I'm going to give it a scarf. So the first bit of red fondant is just like a little roll of it to kind of lift the scarf a little bit higher up otherwise it sits really far back on its neck. And then the second piece is just a long rectangle that's going to wrap around its neck. Then we've got a rectangle and a bit more of a kind of square. Now I think maybe we'll want a pattern on, so I'm just going to use my snowflake plunger cutter. So I've rolled some white fairly thin so we can cut out these little snowflakes from it. My square is going to be like the end of the scarf, so we'll kind of crease it up at one end, push it to the end of this piece. I'm just going to move that red around a little bit. I'm going to put some water on there so this sticks. I'm going to try and fold this onto there. So I don't want it to look too flat, so I'm trying to fold it and make it look a little bit creased. And you can play around with this bit, I'm tucking it in there. So we're rolling out some more fondant, some more red, and I'm just cutting a strip. So this is the little band for its earmuffs. 
So I'm going to leave a little, little bit of a gap just above its head there, just readjusting my scarf. And then I'm going to use some green fondant for the ends of my earmuff. So I'm going to take a ball, kind of roll it, flatten it just a little bit so it's still chunky. We're going to cut it in half. I'm going to put the cut side of the semicircle towards my board and the curved bit upwards so it looks like it's little earmuffs. So there it is, all finished. It's a fairly simple one again, so it shouldn't take you too long to make this for Christmas. If you like this one and you do want to check out the other Christmas videos, please do see them over on my YouTube channel. If you have a go at making one, I'd love to see your pictures. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.